Whoa. Hi, my name is Lisa from Rockford, Illinois, and you're watching The Omar Gosh. Good morning, fams. Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Last night, we built a fort in my living room out of blankets. It's really messy in my house. By the way, if you didn't see yesterday's video, make sure to check it out because we had a lot of fun building this. It actually took, how long did it take? Like four or five hours. Four or five hours to build that. Ugh. Hey, John. Yeah. Whoa, it's cool under here. Hey, Myla. John's got good taste. He's watching some really good videos over here. How did you sleep? I slept like a baby right here. You slept good? Hell yeah, man. Oh, you had that cushion, huh? We are going on a mini road trip. I'm not sure if we're going to make it back home tonight. We're going to try. Taking my friend Patty from the G Team. We're going to go explore a haunted, abandoned stadium. Before we leave, though, we have to clean this up. You think we could do it in less than five hours? I think we could do it in like 10 seconds. All right, let's see. Okay, there we go. It took us five hours to make a fort out of blankets, and it took us 20 minutes to clean it all up. Like it never even happened. It's another hitchhiker right there. Hello, peace. It's my friend Patty from G Team Paranormal. She's going with us to explore the haunted abandoned stadium. They say that there's hidden gold. I'm not sure if it's there at the stadium, but I'm gonna try to dig around, see if I can find some hidden gold, or who knows, maybe I can find some hidden money. I left my friend John at the house, he's gonna house sit for us. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it back tonight. It's four hours to get there, and four hours back. More than likely, we're gonna spend the night there, because we're gonna do an overnight challenge. In a worst case, we get to sleep in our car too. But yeah, four hour drive, not looking forward to that. We have another three hours to go. I'm just hoping that we can make it there before the sun goes down. I'm gonna drive four hours so then you don't have to. We've been driving for about two and a half, almost three hours now. We have a little bit more to go. We're in this little town, it's called Perry, about an hour away from our destination. We just thought it was really cool because I guess it's not cool at the same time though, but like everything is abandoned here. Like they have an abandoned Wendy's there. Here behind me is an abandoned car wash. And behind that looks like an abandoned Costco. I did try to find a way in there. Yeah, it's all locked up. But I do want to show you this, this car wash. It's really cool. I know that's not what you came here for, but I think it's worth showing for sure. Well, what's in here? Somebody living in here? It's a big mess. Seems like maybe some homeless people have gone in here. Oh boy, it smells so bad. Wow. You might be wondering like, why is a big building like that closed down? Why is a car wash closed down? A Wendy's, a reputable franchise. Why is it closed down? I mean, it could be a series of many things, poor economy, High taxes, high rent, the money's not adding up, not making sense, especially in you're not getting back what you invest, then this is gonna happen to you right here. Really sad, hope they open this up again in the future. I wasn't gonna show you anything until we actually got there. Uh, we have like a, another hour and a half to go of driving. Drive hasn't been that bad, but it was maybe a little bit longer than four hours, which is okay. I actually really enjoy driving. Plus, we seen something really cool, right? Mm -hmm. On our way here. And we're gonna make oh, another yeah. video there on our way back. I can't really spill the details, but we have some really cool videos headed your way. I'm actually really excited about them. Okay, yeah. I'll see you at the stadium. Just made it to the stadium, and boy, it is dark out here. The night creeped on us really quick. There's Patty. What's up, Patty? Hello there. You guys ready? Yes. Scared? Ready. I'm terrified. A little bit. 
Melissa's already freaking out because she has bugs crawling on her and stuff. Parked my car over there. Me too. Whoa. Hey, hey. Hey. There's several videos on YouTube about places like this. What makes our videos a little bit more unique than other people is that we actually go and spend the night. These places are already creepy during the day, but at nighttime, whole nother animal. Before we get into this video, I wanna give a special shout out to Urban Ghost, Urban Exploration. They're friends of ours. They live here in Florida and they're the ones that actually told me about this place. Probably some animals inside here. You guys ready to see this place? Oh boy. Wow. What does that say right there? It says Daydreamer. Daydreamer? Yeah. Knock, knock. I did a little research on this place and come to find out it has been abandoned for 25 years. The owner is set to haunt this place. He actually died of a massive heart attack and there was a lot of disputes over money. There's a lot of gambling going on here, so yeah, there's talks of money, being hidden, gold, even a box of gems. So maybe we can find a box of gems. Look, there's even a monitor right there. There's a cash drawer. Wow. Oh, look at this, these are checks. Are they? 50 bucks. Wow. That's so cool, look. Yeah, they are. Look, 1989. Yeah, these are some old checks. Old checks from 89. Wonder if there's anybody living here. One, two. Wow. We sure did. We sure did. It's too late, pal. Hello. The printer right there, I think. Whoa. Is that you? No, it is not me. That's a really cool table. Stairway to heaven. I know a better way to go upstairs. Let's go. Yo, if we didn't have lights on right here. What the? What the? What's that? Did you run into something? No. This place is a mess. Look at all these filing cabinets. Whoa! Check this out! Is this it? This is cool! Wow. This is the stadium. Whoa! I just heard a growl. That's where they used to play the high life, right there. Yeah. Super quiet in here. Kind of scary. What do you think the owner used to actually hang out? What the? What? What is it? Hello? Those are bats. I, I can hear them. 
Yeah. Is that what it is? Oh. I think this is a safe place to sleep. Like I'm being honest, though. So. Like, look, we could we could actually lay down right on these chairs. Oh, there's blankets here. <gasps> what the hell was that? I don't Somebody sitting there. Is there? No, I thought so. What is it? I thought that was somebody sitting there too. It's not? You sure? I heard like some noises coming from this side. I got like glass stuck into my shoe. See that? Ugh. Okay. I have to say this is probably one of the coolest places I've ever visited. I think this is quicker than the Saxon Manor House. Yeah. For sure. It really is. You know, people come here during the day and get creeped out. We're here at nighttime. About to spend the night. Oh, there's a suitcase down there. Is there? I wonder if there's money in it. Okay, I was wrong. This is not a suitcase. But it is a cash register. With no money. This is a highlight bedding slip. Is it? Yeah, it's a sport that came from Spain. This is where they placed place their bets, right here. There was a lot of money exchanging hands. How do you think I'm going to right sleep? Right here. Here, they're gonna stay a week though. What the hell is that? We gotta make sure none of this stuff falls on us. Yeah, look at these old TVs, man. This looks like a kitchen. Boy, I see mold, guys. Be careful. Today's special. Hot dog and drink for 60 cents. Hot dog and a drink for 60 cents. I, I just made that up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's true. Probably. Check out that fountain drink thing. You guys want to see the bathroom? Look behind you. What's the bathroom looking like? It's broken out. You guys could go potty if you want. There's no bathroom in here. Get afraid if I sat on it and fall out of the wall. Ooh. Yeah. I want to see the bats. You guys want to see the bats? No. Bats can bite me. They can bite? I didn't know that. Yo, it's so dark in here. Almost looks like it'd be a huge movie theater. Dude, if I bought this place, that's what I would make this like an IMAX. Like a, or even just a, a theater for performing arts or something. There's a elevator. No, these are different. Yeah. This place is actually valued at $22 million. I'm not sure if that's connected with all the property that surrounds it, but... Yeah, that's a lot of money, whoever. Keep hearing little noises. That says, look behind you. We could have just easily w went this way, came up here. In a little bit, we're probably going to make our way back here to the stadium because I'm thinking, like so far, this is the best place for us to spend the night. We got comfortable chairs. We're in the open. If anything tries to get us, like, you know, we have an edge because we see it, right? Yep, and we can run. And we can run. We can run. Plus, it's really quiet in here. And we got blankets. And a puke bowl. Give me, give me, give me, give me, guess. Give me a kiss. Oh, that's cool. Give me a kiss. That's a coyote poop. Are you serious? Yeah. Or it could have been a bobcat. Do not want to come across like a big cat in here. That would suck. 
What a mess. Some old pictures. Look at that. You feel creepy in here? Wow, they had their own jail here. Really? Yeah, people acting up, man, they put them in jail over here. What the? Whew. I swear somebody like ran past me really quick. I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, mainly on my other channel. If you see or hear anything in the background, please let me know where and when you've seen it, heard it, whatever the case, because there are times that I do miss things. Now. What's your name? I just want to thank all of you that have been following me on Twitter, Instagram. I do have Snapchat, but I barely get on it. Twitter and Instagram is probably the best way to connect with me. Sometimes do read my messages, but I do want to give some of you guys a shout out. Here we go. This is my Instagram. I want to give a shout out to Adam Graham, Sexy Big Blue Eyes, Waiting Sponge, Teresa Bailey, Landon Ensley, Kyrie Raid, shout out to Caesar, Patrick, O Dodge, Carrie and James, Midge 3112, General Jarping Loopy, uh, Jupy, sorry. Shout out to Pink Rose Amma, shout out to Jenny Ray. Shout out to Spicy Salt and all these other people too. You know, they've been following me for a while too. Shout out to them. Shout out to my new followers here. Um, if I didn't say your name, uh, nothing against you. This is still a shout out here. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm alone. I'm scared. I was gonna do my Twitter fams like a shout out and I looked and Melissa and Patty were gone and there was a bat right behind me. Felt that bat like actually touch me. Oh great, my battery's dying. You guys over there? I wanna give a shout out to Zach, Tracy, Ryan G, or Ryland, sorry, Stacy V. All these cool people here, I'm gonna heart and you know what? I'm not sure if I'm following this person. I'm going to go ahead and follow them too. And I do like when you guys like my videos. So if you haven't already, make sure to like this video. Love watching your videos. Keep doing what you're doing because I can watch your videos all day long. So much fun. Thank you, Tracy Bercy. So a shout out to all these people here. Look what I found as an advertisement. That's too funny. We're actually still running this Gimme Kiss shirt thing for like a couple more days. It started doing really well. So if you haven't got your Gimme Kiss shirt, get yours, like that says. It's so quiet in here, but in a weird, creepy way. That is a bat. What? That is a bat. I just seen that. Yeah. It just flew. A bat it's just flew sure right in front of us right now. I don't know if you know this, but sometimes when I do these overnight challenges, I actually have some time to kill so I edit some of my videos right here you know because we're here spending the night got Melissa here with me she's already saying like I am not falling asleep this place is way too scary it is I was trying to find a way in there, but all the doors are locked up. Plus, honestly, it's probably not a good idea anyways to go in there because that's where most of the bats are. Probably like a bat nest. I keep hearing noises. I'm actually gonna go to sleep. Patty is my watchdog. Are you gonna stay the whole night doing that? <laughs> I see bats flying over my head. It's 
it's okay. They're not gonna hurt us. Are you sure? Yeah. Know, really? Just relax. It's so dark and quiet. It's so quiet. Be There's nobody in here to bother us. That's what's nice about this overnight challenge. We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. It's getting really late. Hope to see you in the morning. It is getting really early or really late. It's kind of both. I think I probably slept an hour. Um, we're gonna actually head back to the car. Hopefully, it's not towed. Are you sure it's morning? It's like super dark in here. Like 5:45. Maybe there's some animals in here waking up. We need to get out of here. We're gonna make our way towards the entrance, and hopefully, there is nothing waiting for us. Okay. All right, guys. We successfully spent the night at this creepy freaking stadium. Mm -hmm. You can see that the sun is getting ready to shine. Just made it to our car. I was actually afraid that it would be towed away when I got back, but you know, being that this is a really small town and not a lot of traffic goes on this road here. Very scary, guys. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to go over to the G-Team's channel, show them some love. They're also gonna have a very similar video to the one that I'm posting here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until tomorrow, give me a kiss.